Color Guard is a form of entertainment that consists of dance, theater, and spinning objects. Color Guard can be found in most American colleges, universities, high schools, middle schools, and independent drum corps. Color Guard was first begun by the American Army during the time of the American Revolution. A band would accompany the soldiers to keep their spirits up and for them to feel upbeat. Along with the band, they would have the Color Guard that would hold up a flag. The Color Guard performs alongside the marching band at football games and they will also compete in competitions during the fall. The Color Guard's main purpose is to interpret the music that the marching band is playing. The Color Guard will also use different styles and colors of silk as well as using backdrops and other elements to bring the show to life. The members in the Color Guard can also range from a single person to over 50 members. This depends on the size of the band, budget, and talent from the available individuals. The equipment that is used for Color Guard usually consists of having a silk and pole. The poles that are used are usually anywhere from 5 foot tall to 8 feet tall. Sometimes these poles include different weights to make the flag easier to toss and move around. The weights also help out when tossing in the wind outside. The silks that are used come in all different colors and sizes. They also come in different textures including silk and cotton. Color Guard has many moves that can be done with a flag. Some of the basic moves include drop spins, flutters, and cones. There are other moves that are used throughout shows that might require a lot of practice and time to get. These moves can be used for a lot of shows because of the simple counts being used. Other basic moves include positioning for right shoulder. This is when everyone is holding the flag at the beginning of a routine. There are also other elements that are used throughout the shows, including having a saber, swing flags, rifle, and air blades. These props might match the theme of the tunes that are being played. Also, there might be a few people at a time using the props or the entire guard. This makes the show visually interesting when switching elements. Uniforms vary everywhere you go with the color guard. Some schools will have uniforms that match their school colors. Others will have something that is completely different. Uniforms usually consist of sparkly and stretchy material. Uniforms will sometimes match the silk from the flag that they are using. Practices for Color Guard equal a lot of work. The routines need to be made up for flag feature or any drill work. This consists of knowing where you are located on the field and how far apart you are from other people. Once a routine is made up and finished, it is later taught to the rest of the guard. The practices vary in length depending on the preference of the coach or captain running the practice. Practices are a great way to measure progress of the participants' skills and ready them for performance.